Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 5, 13, 14. I was asking the Lord uh, for uh, a word today. And he simply said, type in Psalm 33. And I was amazed because we all know Christ began his end time ministry at 30 years old. And went to the cross for us, not for himself. He left heaven for us. He went to the cross for us. And today he's, he says, you know, keep on going. Run the race with endurance. Keep your eyes on the prize, which is him. Keep your eyes on him. And there's so many distractions in this world that, you know, but he knows that. He says, I will never put more on you than, than you can bear. Thank you, Jesus, today. So I put in Psalms 33. He was 33 when he went to the cross. And I began to read. And it was so uplifting. And then he said, well, tell my people. Tell my people I'm coming again. Tell them not to wander and be distracted from me. Tell them to, I will uphold them with my righteous right hand. Tell them to only believe not too much longer. Just waiting for a few more souls, not too much longer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I just received that. It's 4.40 p.m. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want everybody within the sound of my voice to become refreshed and renewed and revived and stirred up and on fire because Jesus is coming. I'm going to a wedding, not a funeral. He walks with me and he talks with me. Come on, unity and one accord, brethren. Let's come together and praise his holy name. Because of what he did. He, he set us free. He shed his blood for us. And, and he remitted our sin. Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. Jesus said, I got that. Who am I talking to out there, male or female? Thought your sins were too big. Jesus said, don't worry, I got that for you. Oh, Getting hit with the Holy Ghost. Let me let me continue and just do this word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of life. Today I, I do something for you, Lord. All of my works are as filthy rat. Does everybody understand mercy and grace? I, <laughs> here we go. I haven't even started the word yet. I was I was praying last night and I said, Let's let, let us therefore uh, come boldly to the throne to obtain his mercy. And the Lord spoke to me last night before I, I went to sleep. And, and, <laughs> and he said, you know, Paul, a lot of people understand mercy and are receiving my mercy right now. But a lot of people are not receiving my grace. Hmm. Right now, me being one of them. That's true. You know, the, the favor of God should be over your life. We all understand mercy and grace, but I'm just going to be obedient and let us therefore, for the King James people, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain his mercy. Now watch this. Sorry. It says, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that's unmerited favor, that we may obtain mercy and find grace. To help in time of need. How many, how many people here. Wondering how I ended up. Uh, on this word. In Psalm 33. And saying. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> I just want to show you. Some of the, the true meanings of these words. As they were written. Yeah, this is Greek amplified. Let us then fearlessly and confidently. So that's boldly right. Fearlessly and confidently and boldly. And I, I speak against the spirit of fear right now in the name of Jesus over my life and over your life. I've given authority to do so by the Jesus Christ shed blood when I hit the mercy seat. And draw near to the throne of grace. Look at this. The throne of God's unmerited favor to us sinners. Can't earn it, can't buy it, can't bottle it. And that, that we, we, a lot of us, and let me just talk about Paul right now. I understand mercy, his mercy is anew every day. I feel like I have a thorn in my side. I've been walking with it for 50 years and, and Jesus comes right on time and he says, my grace is sufficient for thee. You understand what I'm saying? 
that we may receive mercy for our failures. I'm speaking to people right now. I'm speaking to people in the name of Jesus. And find grace to help in good time for every need. And notice, every need. Uh, appropriate help and well-timed help. On time, right on time, your help is coming, says the Spirit of the Lord. And um, so it, it's time to understand that we have to get in position with Jesus Christ of Nazareth right now. Let the world go. You know you've sinned. It's okay. We all sin. It falls short of the glory of God, wretched man that I am. But receive his favor upon your life including me right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. His mercy and grace has fallen because I was bold enough and fearless enough and confident enough to go to his throne. And he said, I can receive it. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We can receive. If you believe you can receive, Jesus Christ said, you can say unto this mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea, and it shall be done. Having faith and not doubt it, speaking from a pure heart. Mountain, get out of my way. I'm, I'm going to put this scripture into the, to the word right now in the name of Jesus. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. You know, righteousness, righteous means in right standing with God. Praise the Lord with harp, sing unto him with the psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. And make some noise to the Lord. Some people don't believe in, in praise and worship. Well, it's right there. The Lord led me to it. Sing unto him a new song. Play skillfully with the Lord. Norris. I feel like right now that Jesus Christ is standing on a, on a precipice with one foot off and about ready to step down for all eternity, forever and ever, to receive us unto his own and then it's over and we can and he's gonna say well done that good and faithful servant you did it and in my rapture dream I said I made it how many people right here would love to just be flying up in the sky to Jesus and saying I made it well I feel that in my spirit for the word of the Lord is right and all his works are done in truth speak to us Lord speak to us Lord he loveth righteousness and judgment the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord Watch this. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. When the mighty God we serve, he's mighty to save. He gathereth the waters of the sea together as a heap. You know, he just made the waters. Amen. How many people could just make an ocean? No one. That's how mighty our God is. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. Can we just stop and say, Lord Jesus, we are in awe of you. You created what we're going through. You're waiting for us tomorrow before we get there. My, my goodness. For he spake and it was done. Lord Jesus, speak your grace over our lives. Speak your mercy over our lives. And we will receive it and thank you and make a noise. The Lord, a joyful noise. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to nothing or not. He make the devices of the people none effect. How many people have some scheming haters plotting against you right now behind the scenes? They don't know that you know, but you know. Because the Holy Spirit told you so. And you've just been biting your tongue and biting your tongue. Well, 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 the word of God says that he is forever making an intercession for you that let the Lord avenge you. Well, right here, it says that he's going to make all these evil plans against you void. Ooh, hoo, hoo. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Now here we go. It's at 13 is when I began to get excited. And the Lord said, tell others. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he hath chosen for his own inheritance. Now, America, shame on you. The government and all levels and schools and institutions and, and all these corporate uh, things of, of this world that have tried to pull God out of this world are not included in the blessings. But those, there's a remnant. The Lord looketh from heaven and beholdeth all the sons of men. Now let me just pause for a minute. Jesus Christ can see you right now where you are. And not only see you, see your heart, see your mind, see the people attacking you, see your hurt, see your pain. He sees everything and he has a plan for you to come out of it. While people uh, plan to plot and scheme against you, he's plotting their demise. 
He fashioneth their hearts alike. He considereth all their works. There is no king. Now watch this. You want to talk about mercy? There is no king saved by the multitude of a host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. Look, your deliverance and everything you're waiting on for right now, you ain't going to do it in your own strength. You're going to do it through Christ. Philippians 4.13. A horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver it but any by his great strength. In other words, you can get on a horse and run on a million dollar winner. But that is nothing like hiding in the shadow of the Most High, in his wings wrapped around you in peace and safety. 18. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon that, him that feared him. How many God fearing people do I have out there? Jesus is watching you, and he has a plan for you to prosper and not bring you harm. He has life for you and life abundantly. To deliver their soul from death. Now, watch this. Rhema word. Rhema prophetic word. 33 19. And to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waiteth for the Lord. How many people out here just waiting for Jesus? He is our help and our shield. Well, he's coming. And you know how we know? All the signs, all the signs, all the signs of his prophetic word in the spirit of prophecy all coming to pass like birth pangs. I'm telling you, the woman is about ready to get birth and we are going home, going home. No one will convince me otherwise and say, yes, uh, for our hearts shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. How many people trust the Lord right now? Well, if you trust him, there'll be no fear. Peace will come in when you trust the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul. Begin to love others in a way you never did, in the way T taught you to love. Let the love of Christ fall down on us. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in thee. Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. But more importantly, Lord, well, or of the same importance, Show us your grace. Shine your grace on us. Shine your grace on us. Shine your unmerited favor on us as we uh, boldly come to your throne in prayers. What a mighty God we serve. We worship you. We extol you. We, we praise your holy name. And we know that it is written that you keep your word. And so we're beginning to have joy and thank you in advance already, knowing it is done. Your word will not return void. You will confirm it. It will go out and it will accomplish Amen. God bless you, everybody. Just taking it all in as all the Bible comes up to a wrap. Amen. <laughs>